Okay, welcome to today's video everyone. So today we're going to be seeing a question that was part of my half yearly when I did the HSC. Okay, and the question is, given alpha, beta and gamma are the zeros of the polynomial ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d, such that alpha plus beta plus gamma equals 4, alpha squared plus beta squared plus gamma squared equals 4, and alpha cubed plus beta cubed plus gamma cubed equals 4, find the values of a, b, c, and d. Okay, so the first thing we can do is we can write the equation, the polynomial, and set it to zero so that we have an equation. And now we can divide through by the coefficient of x cubed. So we divide through by alpha, and you'll see why we do that in a minute. So we have x cubed plus b over a x squared plus c over a x plus d over a is equal to zero. Okay, now, let's consider the sum of roots. So, if we look at the sum of roots, that's equal to minus the coefficient of x squared divided by the coefficient of x cubed. So, it's minus b over a all over 1. So, just minus b over a. Now, we're given in the question that the sum of roots is equal to 4, right? So, we have 4 is equal to minus b on a, and therefore, b on a equals minus 4. Right. Okay, so we have this now. Now let's consider some other information that we're given. We're given that alpha squared plus beta squared plus gamma squared is equal to 4. Okay, so you might remember in a previous video we looked at how to relate these to the three fundamental expressions involving the roots and the coefficients. So... It might be worthwhile to actually just try and remember this. So it's alpha squared plus beta squared plus gamma squared. So that's equal to the sum of roots all squared minus two times the sum of roots two at a time. So alpha beta plus alpha gamma plus beta gamma. Okay. Now, we have alpha squared plus beta squared plus gamma squared given in the question that's given as 4. So we have 4 equals, now the sum of roots all squared will be 4 squared minus 2 times alpha beta plus alpha gamma plus beta gamma. Okay, now if we subtract 4 squared or subtract 16 from both sides, we get minus 12 is equal to minus 2 into alpha beta plus alpha gamma plus beta gamma. Okay, now we can divide by minus 2 and get that 6 equals the sum of roots 2 at a time. But if we look back at our equation here, what is the sum of roots 2 at a time? That's the coefficient of x divided by the coefficient of x cubed. So that will be positive c over a divided by 1 which is just c over a. So therefore we have c over a equals 6. Okay, so that's another... You might want to just underline these so we can refer to them later. Okay, now, we're also told that alpha cubed plus beta cubed plus gamma cubed equals 4. Now, you might remember how to use this. We have to substitute alpha back into our equation. So let's write down our equation now but now we can add in minus 4 and 6 for b of a and c of a. So this means our equation, we can have x cubed plus b of a, whoops, shouldn't be plus, should be minus, minus 4x squared plus c of a, which is plus 6x, plus d of a. Now we need to determine d of a. Okay, so we can substitute in alpha, beta, and gamma into this equation here because they are roots of the equation. So, therefore, we can have alpha cubed minus 4 alpha squared plus 6 alpha plus d on a equals 0. Also, we have beta cubed plus 4 beta squared plus 6 beta plus d over a. And 
So we have finally gamma cubed minus 4 gamma squared plus 6 gamma plus d over a is equal to 0. Now let's call these 1, 2, and 3. And now we can add up these three equations. So when we add them up, we get the following. So we're going to get alpha cubed plus beta cubed plus gamma cubed minus 4 into alpha squared plus beta squared plus gamma squared. So I'm pretty much just adding down along these columns. Plus 6 into alpha plus beta plus gamma plus 3 into d over a and that's equal to 0. Right? Okay, now we know the values of all of these alpha cubed plus beta cubed plus gamma cubed in the question that was given to us was 4 minus 4 times now we know the value of alpha squared plus beta squared plus gamma squared is equal to 4 that's given to us in the question minus 6 times the value of alpha plus beta plus gamma is given to us in the question that's also 4 plus 3 times d over a and that's equal to 0 okay so this will be 4 minus 16 which is minus 12 minus 24 so we have minus 12 minus 24 is minus 36 plus 3 times d on a equals 0 and now we can move the 36 over to the other side we get 3 times d on a equals 36 and so therefore d on a is equal to 12 and so now we have D on A, C on A, and B on A, and we can substitute that back into our polynomial, into this polynomial here, this equation rather. And that's why we divided by A, so we could have uh, B on A, C on A, and D on A, which is what we obtain by doing this method. Okay, so now that we can substitute those back in, we get X cubed minus 4X squared plus 6X plus 12 is equal to 0. And so, therefore, A is equal to 1, B is equal to minus 4, C is equal to 6, and D is equal to 12. And that's your final answer. Okay, hope you enjoyed the video.